Hello, my Kako, and good morning. This is the September 23rd, 2021 Land Use Commission meeting, which is being held using interactive conference technology, linking video conference participants and other interested individuals of the public via the Zoom internet conferencing program. We're doing this, of course, to comply with ongoing state and county official operational directives during the COVID-19 pandemic. Members of the public are able to view the meeting via the Zoom webinar platform. For all meeting participants, I would like to stress the importance of speaking slowly, clearly, and directly into your microphone, especially because we are now using transcriptions based on this Zoom recording. Please identify yourself for the record prior to speaking. Please also be aware that all meeting participants are being recorded on the digital record of the Zoom meeting. Your continued participation is your implied consent to be part of the record of this event. If you do not wish to be part of the record, you should exit the meeting now. This technology allows the parties and each participating commissioner individual remote access to the meeting via our own personal digital devices. So also please note that due to matters entirely outside of our control, occasional disruptions to connectivity may occur for one or more members in the meeting at any given time. If these disruptions occur, please let us know and please be patient as we try to restore audiovisual signals to conduct business during the pandemic. For any items in which public testimony will be accepted, for any members of the public who wish to provide public testimony and who are accessing this meeting via telephone rather than software, please know that you can raise your hand using the key sequence star nine and lower your hand using the same sequence. And you can ask to be unmuted using the star six function. Depending on how long this meeting goes, we will take breaks from time to time, approximately 10 minutes every hour. My name is Jonathan Likeke Scheuer, and I have the honor and pleasure of serving as the Land Use Commission Chair. Along with me, Commissioners Edmund Axon, Don Chang, Gary Okuda, and a visiting commissioner from Kauai, um, Daniel Giovanni, our Chief Executive Officer, Daniel Ordenker, our Chief Planner, Scott Derrickson, our Chief Clerk, Riley Hakota, our Deputy Attorney General, Linda Chow, and our Program Specialist, Natasha Quinones, are all on the island of Oahu. Commissioner Nancy Cabral is back on Hawaii Island. Welcome home. Commissioner Lee Ohigashi is on Maui. We currently have eight seated commissioners of a possible nine. As I mentioned, court reporting transcriptions are being done from the Zoom recording. The only adjustment to our agenda that I will note is that item five, Roman numeral five on our agenda indicates we were going to conduct an executive session meeting. However, during our last meeting, we concluded all the business we needed to do in the executive session. So the only substantive matter we have is the Waikapu country town matter. With all of that said, our first order of business is adoption of the September 8th through 9th and September 17th, 2021 minutes. The minutes from September 8th and 9th are not ready and will be deferred. However, the minutes for September 17th are ready for approval. Mr. Hakoda or Ms. Quinones, has any public testimony been received on adoption of the minutes? Hello, Chair, this is Natasha. Um, there's been no testimony received on the minutes. Okay, thank you. Are there any members of the public who wish to testify on adoption of the minutes? If so, please use the raise your hand function. Um, I'm recognizing uh, Ken Church who is asking to be recognized to testify on adoption of the minutes. Mr. Church, I will move you to promote you to be a panelist. When you're promoted to be a panelist, I ask you to um, enable your audio and video. You're admitted, Mr. Church. You may enable your audio and video now, please, to testify on adoption of the September 17th, 2021 minutes. Is my video off or only on audio? Um, okay. 
When will the minutes of the September 8th meeting be um, Mr. Church, we can yes. barely hear you. When will the minutes of the September 8th meeting be available? Um, I do not exactly know. However, I would expect by our next meeting. Thank you. Okay, so that you were not actually testifying on this matter. Is that no. correct? Right. Okay, so the directions from the chair were only for testimony on this matter. I'm moving you back to being an attendee. Do any members of the public wish to testify on adoption of the minutes from the September 17th, 2021 meeting? If so, raise your hand. Seeing none, are there any comments or questions or a uh, motion to adopt? Chair, this is Commissioner Wong. Commissioner Wong. I move to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Ohigashi. It's like a game show. You got to get to the mute button first. Sorry, Nancy. Um, <laughs> the motion has been made by Commissioner Wong and seconded by Commissioner Ohigashi. Is there any discussion? If there is none, Mr. Ordenko, will you please pull the commission? Thank you, Mr. Chair. The motion is to adopt the minutes. <clears throat> Commissioner Wong. Aye. Commissioner Oikashi. Yes. Commissioner Axon. Yes. Commissioner Cabral. Yes. Commissioner Chen. Aye. Commissioner Giovanni. Aye. Commissioner Okuda. Yes. Chair Shoyer. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The motion passes unanimously. Okay. Our next agenda item is the tentative meeting schedule. Mr. Oredanker, please continue. Thank you, Mr. Chair. On October, <coughs> that's otherwise noted all meetings are by Zoom. On October 13th, we will be um, hopefully hearing the IAO matter, same for October 14th. On October 27th, we will be hearing the Kihei High School matter. On October 28th, we will uh, we also have set aside for the uh, IAL matter. Those IAL matters are the, are the Oahu um, <clears throat> recommendations. Um, on November 10th, we will be hearing A21-810, which is uh, Hakuau 201H project. Uh, <clears throat> November 24th, we will again be hearing Hakuau 201H project. <clears throat> On December 8th, we will be hearing the Windward Airport Hotel matter, that's AO3739. <clears throat> October 9th, we will also be hearing the Windward Airport Hotel. On December 22nd, we will be hearing ER21-73, which is Honoipu Highway. Uh, that matter is also scheduled for December 23rd. And that takes us to the end of the year. Thank you, Dan. Are there any questions from the commissioners on our schedule? Seeing none, our next agenda item is an action item regarding docket number A15798, Waikapu Properties, LLC, Maui, to consider a motion for modification of condition 8B of the decision and order filed on February 26, 2018, to be consistent with the condition in the county ordinance to change the zoning of the subject property. Will the parties please identify themselves for the record, beginning with the petitioner. Good morning, Chair. Uh, Jeff Wioka, uh, Council for Petition. I'm here with uh, Mr. Mike Atherton, petitioner's authorized representative. And also um, present is Mr. Paul Mancini, also petitioner's counsel. Thank you, Chair. Good morning. Maui County. Thank you, Chair. Michael Hopper, Deputy Corporation Counsel representing the Maui County Department of Planning and Kurt Mullenhaupt, uh, planner, is here with us as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Office of Planning and Sustainable Development. Good morning, Allison Cotto, um, Deputy Attorney General for the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development. Uh, also, Rodney Funakoshi and Lorraine Maki from, the, from OPSD. Thank you. Before we proceed further, let me update the record. On July 2nd, 2021, the commission received the petitioner's motion for modification of condition 8B of the decision and order filed on February 26, 2018, a memorandum in support of the motion 
Appendices 1 and 2, and the Declaration of Michael Atherton, as well as the Certificate of Service. On July 7th, the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development filed its request for an extension of time to respond to the petitioner's motion. On July 9th, we received the petitioner's check for the $1,000 filing fee. On July 10th, we received the OPSD's response to the petitioner's motion. On July 13th, the petitioner filed a stipulation of the parties on the petitioner's motion dated July 2nd, 2021. On July 15th, the LUC mailed the meeting agenda. Sorry, this must be factually incorrect and I need to check with the staff. What is the date on which we mailed the meeting agenda for today's meeting? Hello, Chair, this is Natasha. That date was September 15th. On September 15th, the LUC mailed the meeting agenda for the September 23rd meeting to the parties on this docket and the statewide and county mailing lists. Um, and then we modified and uh, sent a modified agenda on the following day, September 16th, to the same parties. If there's anyone who wishes to testify on this matter, here's our order for proceedings for today. First, I'll recognize any written public testimony. Then I will ask any members of the public who wish to testify on today's matter to raise their hands. There's no one in um, on coming into this meeting by phone that I can see. So use the raise your hand function. I will bring you in, swear you in, ask you to state your name and address for the record and give you three minutes to testify. Um, after any testimony, you'd be available for questions by the parties and the commissioners. Following any public testimony, if there is any, we will then begin proceedings on the petitioner's motion, starting um, with the same order of the parties, um, each party presenting followed by questions from the commissioners. So first petitioner's presentation, followed by questions from the commissioners, then County of Maui, commissioner's questions, and then OPSD. The commission, uh, I, the chair will allow the petitioner to provide any final rebuttal to any of the comments from any of the other parties. Um, and finally, um, after all parties have presented their arguments for the petitioner's motion, we'll conduct deliberations and issue a decision. If we happen to go over an hour, I will ask for a break at around 9.50 a.m. Do any of the parties have any questions with our procedures for today, starting with the petitioner? Uh, no, thank you, Chair. County? Uh, no, Chair. OP. No questions, thank you. thank you. Okay. Mr. Hakoda, has there been any written testimony submitted on this matter? Chair, this is Riley. Chair? No written testimony has been received. Okay, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this matter? If so, use the raise your hand function. Seeing none. Mr. Uyoka, you may begin your presentation. Uh, Jeff Uyoka, uh, Petitioner's Council. Thank you, Chair. Uh, good morning, Commission members. Um, as we were working through starting the Waikapu Country Town Project, we began working with the state and the county regarding a memorandum of agreement for project generated traffic impacts. And we discovered, or I guess we knew that there was a requirement that from the state um, decision and order, condition 8B, that the MOAs be executed prior to submittal of a subdivision application to the county of Maui. <laughs> It normally, I think it would have worked out a little easier for this MOA to be executed. However, the condition of zoning from the County of Maui, one of them requires the petitioner to pay its pro rata share of the Waiale Road extension. As that is a major public works improvement project, it's been difficult for the county to estimate what uh, Waikapu Country Town's pro rata share would be. And rather than enter into an open-ended agreement, We've been working towards that with uh, state DOT and the county. There's a lot of um, support for the White Alley Road extension. So we're moving towards that. However, at this time, we are prepared to um, submit a subdivision application 
So we're here to request that condition 8B be amended to fall in line with um, condition 1A of the county condition of zoning requiring that the agreements be executed prior to the approval of the first subdivision application for the project. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Uyoka. Um, commissioners, are there any questions for petitioner's counsel or petitioner? Commissioners? Commissioner Okuda. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, uh, Mr. Atherton, Mr. Uyoka. Can you confirm that all parties have signed a stipulation to grant you the relief that you are seeking? Uh, this is Jeff Uyoka. Uh, yes, Commissioner Okuda. All um, parties have signed a stipulation. And uh, are you aware of any community opposition to your stipulation or requested relief? Again, Jeff Uyoka, uh, Commissioner Okuda, we are not aware of any opposition. Thank you very much. And thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. No further questions. Thank you, Commissioner Okuda. Any further questions for the petitioner at this time, commissioners? Seeing none, let's hear from Maui County. Mr. Hopper. Thank you, Chair. The Maui County Department of Planning is supportive of this amendment. Uh, and as, as uh, has been discussed, did sign a stipulation um, agreeing to, to the modification. Uh, the condition change does not actually change the obligation, simply the timing. And so the county is supportive of the change um, for the reasons set forth in the, in the motion. Uh, I can be available for questions if, if you would like. Thank you. I, I would like you to be available for questions. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Ohigashi. My question is that um, I know our condition is a standard condition and Mr. Hopper, your condition appears to be a standard con condition. Uh, is, it a, is it benefits both parties or the applicant at least that we modify our standard condition to align with yours in the future. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Chair, I, I, I don't, I think that there are different um, sort of timing depending on the, the, the nature of the condition. I've seen either TARs or MOUs do at various times. So I don't know if the zoning conditions in this case are standard, um, but you may have a very good point that it, it would maybe make more sense to have these MOAs or TIARs and MOAs based on them do prior to the approval of subdivision rather than submittal in the case submittal is too early. I, I don't know if you as the LUC generally have a prior to submittal condition, but um, if you want to standardize that, certainly yes, that's something to take a look at. Um, I, I do think the county Council, though, doesn't necessarily have a standard for all of these. I think it sort of depends on the project and the nature of the improvements um, to, be, to be done. So uh, I don't know if there's a standard or the LUC has this as a standard, but I think you make a good point that, that rather than prior to submittal, prior to approval would be a better time to allow these to be negotiated pending subdivision approval. I don't have any other questions. Thank you very much, Commissioner Ohigashi. Any further questions for the county at this time? Seeing none, can we hear from the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development, please? Thank you, Chair. The Office of Planning and Sustainable Development recommends approval of petitioner's motion to modify condition number 8B. The modification would change the required timing of execution of memoranda of agreement with state DOT and the County of Maui in relation to petitioner's subdivision application. Um, it does not change this substantive requirement. The DOT commented that after discussion with petitioner, the department supports the revision in order to avoid construction delays to the proposed project. Based on DOT support of the proposed revision of the transportation condition, OPSD recommends approval of petitioner's motion in the form proposed by petitioner. And as mentioned by the other parties, OPSD also entered into stipulation with petitioner and the county to that extent. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Cotto. Commissioners, questions for Office of Planning and Sustainable Development. Seeing none. Um, not that there's much to rebut, but Mr. Olioka, do you have anything you wish to rebut or make any final statements? Jeff Olioka, um, I'll stay silent. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Um, any final questions for the petitioner from the commissioners? I, I will ask, and, and, and I'm going to say you may feel free entirely um, to decline to say anything, Mr. Atherton, but this is certainly a project that this commission has frequently turned back to to refer to as a success. So I know that you turn in all your annual reports on time, but do you wanna give us any general appraisal of how things are proceeding beyond um, what you're asking for us today? Well, no, I, I have my maps ready, both my Mackay and my Malcolm maps, and I have my water system designed and ready to submit to the county. If I can get approval today, then I'll submit those maps next week. So they'll start processing them for, for review. And we hope to start, the schedule starts in January of next year, we'll start the water system and the sewer infrastructure backbone system. And we're currently working with Maui County on the wastewater treatment plant and on Waiali Road. Thank you, we're Mr. We're hoping Atherton. we can get going next uh, January, January, February. Yeah, I, I mean, I will say that I believe that this commission wants to see you succeed and succeed well, because. Um, we frequently refer back to the proceedings that you had before us as an example of a really great way to proceed in front of this commission and the proposal that you have. Anything further, commissioners? Commissioner Axon? Mr. Chair, I just want to confirm if that was a sworn testimony by uh, the petitioner. I did not swear in the petitioner. I can retroactively do so. Um, though it was at the direction of the chair. Uh, would you affirm that the testimony you just gave is the truth, Mr. Atherton? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Axel. Anything further, commissioners? Okay. Seeing none, we can move on to formal deliberations. I will note for the parties and for the public that during the commission's deliberations, I will not entertain any additional input from the parties or the public unless those individuals or entities are specifically requested to do so by the chair. If called upon, any comments must be limited to the question at hand. Commissioners, let me confirm that each of you have reviewed the record and are prepared to deliberate on the subject docket. After I call your name, please signify with either an aye or a nay that you are prepared to deliberate on this matter. Commissioner Axon. Aye, Mr. Chair. Commissioner Chang. Aye. Commissioner Cabral. Cabral. Yes. <laughs> Commissioner Giovanni. Aye. Commissioner Ohigashi. Yes. Commissioner Okuda. Yes. Commissioner Wong. Aye. The chair is also prepared to deliberate on this matter. Commissioners, I will entertain a motion that the LUC accepts or does not accept the motion for modification of condition 8B of the decision and order filed on February 26, 2018. The motion should state the reasons for the acceptance or non-acceptance of the motion and the conditions that will apply. Commissioners, what is your pleasure? I will recognize Commissioner Ohigashi followed by Okuda. I move that we grant the petitioner's request in accordance with the stipulation of the parties uh, on petitioner's motion modification dated July 12, 2021 that was filed with the commission on 9-13-2021. And the reason that I'm giving is that uh, I see no reason that the two conditions should not be aligned. Okay, is there a second? Was that Commissioner Okuda? Were you going to second? Uh, this is Gary Okuda. I second the motion. Okay, does the move on want to speak further to the motion? All right, no, I think it's a I think it's self-evident. <laughs> okay. Mr. Okuda? This is Gary Okuda. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
I do agree with the move on that it's self-evident. Uh, even so, I'd like to state the five uh, sentences which reflect the five standards why this motion uh, should be granted just to make clear that it's not like we all here just rubber stamp things that you know everyone agrees to. Uh, first of all, um, the motion satisfies HAR 15-15-94, which deals with modification or deletion of conditions or orders. That section, uh, subparagraph B states, and I quote, for good cause shown, the commission may act to modify or delete any of the conditions imposed or modify the commission's order, close quote. Okay, secondly, um, this petition and stipulation satisfies the definition of good cause as stated by the Hawaii Supreme Court in the case Chen, C-H-E-N versus Ma, M-A-H, found at 146 Hawaii, 157 at 178, a 2020 uh, Hawaii Supreme Court case, and I quote, good cause depends upon the circumstances of the individual case and a finding of its existence lies largely in the discretion of the officer or court to which the decision is committed, close quote. Um, thirdly, this stipulation and petition satisfies the requirements of the case Kila Kila, K-I-L-A-K-I-L-A-O Haleakala versus Board of Land and Natural Resources. That's found at 138 Hawaii 383 at 416, a 2016 Hawaii Supreme Court case, which held, and I quote, agency adjudicators are also required to apply the preponderance of the evidence burden of proof in contested cases like trial judges and civil cases, close quote. Uh, with respect to the preponderance of evidence standard, this petition and stipulation satisfies the definition of such found in Masaki, M-A-S-A-K-I versus General Mortars Corporation, 71 Hawaii, at page, uh, I'm sorry, 74 Hawaii 1 at page 14, a 1989 Hawaii Supreme Court case, which defined the standard as, quote, the, the preponderance standard directs the fact finder to decide whether, quote, the existence of the contested fact is more probable than its non-existence, close quote, close quote. And finally, um, this petition and stipulation satisfies the requirements of HRS section 91-1, parent 5, close parent, which states, and I quote, except as otherwise provided by law, the party initiating the proceeding shall have the burden of proof, including the burden of producing evidence, as well as the burden of persuasion. The degree or quantum of proof shall be a preponderance of the evidence close quote. So for those reasons, I believe the record satisfies all these requirements, which we as a quasi judicial body are required to follow. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you to the parties for a very precise presentation. Thank you very much, Commissioner Okuda. Commissioners, we're under deliberation. Who wishes to speak to the motion? Commissioner Cabral. Yes. Uh, first, I want to thank my esteemed Commissioner Okuda for taking care of all the absolutely proper things. On the opposite end of that, I'd like to cover some of the, the more uh, warm and fuzzies. Improper and, things? What's that? Improper things? <laughs> yes, absolutely. You know me. Well, I want to thank uh, Mr. Atherson again. I do remember the hearing. I remember the site visit. I remember the hearing. I remember the fact that I think at the presentation, he had a large number of people from the community coming in. I think the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker were all present and all in support of this project. And the fact that he has gone to such great lengths to make it a community project. And when we look at the need, and, and well, when we give lip service as a society to the need for, for housing, um, I really thank the, the petitioner for the continued effort to get this housing on the ground in order to provide some type of housing at whatever level financially 
people can start having more houses. I think it's the supply and demand. And the sooner we can add to the supply in Maui, the greater um, we're going to be able to help meet the needs of our community. So I want to thank the petitioner for his continued efforts to move this huge project forward. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Cabral. Commissioners, and obviously, I'm supporting the, the motion. <laughs> thank you, Commissioner Cabral. Commissioners, any further deliberation? If there's none, I'll just note that I will also vote in favor of the motion. Um, just noting, just for clarity, that um, the, the fundamental public concern here, whether traffic will be appropriately dealt with by this project, the timing of whether the memorandum of agreement is completed prior to subdivision approval submission or subdivision approval doesn't have a bearing on getting the proper traffic modifications needed um, as contributed by the developers. So the public's interests are protected in the course of doing this. Anything further commissioners? If none, Mr. Ordenker, please pull the commission. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The motion is to, the motion is to grant the petitioner's motion in accordance with the stipulation filed by the party. Commissioner Ohigashi. Aye. Commissioner Okuda. Yes. Commissioner Wong. Aye. <laughs> Commissioner Giovanni. Aye. Commissioner Chang. Aye. Commissioner Cabral. Aye. Commissioner Axon. Yes. Commissioner Axon. Yes. He said Mr. yes. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The motion passes unanimously. Uh, thank you to all the parties for coming forward with a clear and stipulated motion. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There being no further business, it is 9.32 a.m. And I declare this meeting adjourned. Bye. <laughs>